everybody hey welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another reaction video if this is your first time here my name is TMR and over here we do reactions and reviews if you have not yet became a part of the TMR family sis I'm gonna need you to hit the subscribe button and make sure you also click that notification bell so every time your girl drop a new video you will be the first one to know it also make sure you follow me on Instagram at Tasha Marie TMR and make sure you hit your girl up on her podcast called girl time talk time with TMR I'm gonna leave a link to that down below all right you guys so without further ado let's get on to this video sis so what we getting ready to do right now sis we about to take a trip and you might say TMR where we going well child we going to hood Boogerville, US of A. Yes, where down there, women are going stone cold wild. We have a man, a baby daddy, a baby father, who was doing his fatherly duty and taking his baby girl to go get her hair braided, and the baby mama didn't like it. My baby ain't seen nobody be crying. I don't care. I told you, stop playing with this me. This motherfucker cut my baby hair out of here. Look at that, that shit. Way. That shit's sad. It hurt that my way. baby feeling. That way. Because you don't hurt the dad. You hurt her feelings. It hurt my baby feeling. My baby sat there for two hours. I do my own girl hair. My baby sat there for two hours. Stop playing with me. Oh, my God. You see that? Girl. Uh, you know, look, we do understand that we have situations where, you know, we're dating and relationships don't work out, but there's kids that come about out of the relationship. So for some of us, it's very easy to co-parent and for a lot of us, it is not. The last thing you should ever do is embarrass your child. I don't care if the baby is one or 101. What that woman did was completely utterly uncalled for okay you mad because another woman braided your child's hair it wasn't like you know she was sitting in between some woman's legs at at the house on the couch the woman sitting on the couch the baby sitting on the floor yeah she went to a braid shop okay because on facebook yeah i got that clip off of facebook and on facebook there was some conversations going back with the father of the child and the baby mother, okay? So the baby mother, you could just tell by her language that she was real hood booger-ish, okay? And she basically said she didn't like the fact that some other woman had her hands in her daughter's hair. She said she can braid hair herself. Well, obviously it was one of two things. Now the dad went and picked the baby up from school early, you know, probably doing a father-daughter day type thing. Little girl was just as cute as she want to be. And he said, well, let me go get my baby girl's hair braided. Maybe her hair wasn't combed. Or maybe it was combed and he just feel like, well, let me go on and spend some money on my baby and make her feel real pretty. Because she did look extremely pretty. And him bringing her back, the mama, not liking it, cuts it out that daughter's hair. Now, how you know you didn't cut any of that baby's real hair? Because obviously, you had to cut that baby's real hair. I don't know how long the baby's hair was or not, but I, yeah, I promise you, I feel like that woman cut that baby's hair. You know what? That's why, y'all, when you get into these relationships with these men and these women, you know, y'all really need to realize who you uh, making children with. They might seem like the sweetest thing since sliced pie in the beginning of the relationship, or at the end of the relationship, Boo might coming out like she misery, okay? So look, I that was totally uncalled for. If she was upset about him going to get the little girl's hair braided without you know, getting her approval, which I don't understand why he would need approval to get his child's hair braided, I, I would think you would be happy because he did that because you got a lot of men around here that ain't even claiming kids, let alone taking care of them. You know, but the mother said that he did that just to be funny because he was trying to get up under her skin. Well, yeah, I don't think him trying to make sure his little girl is neat and, and looks nice and pretty and presentable on a daily basis is ever a reason to get up under your skin. I think he was just doing that because he was just doing his fatherly thing. Now, granted, y'all, we just see this small 30 second of this video. We don't know the depths of their relationship, but based off her 
attitude. And listening to the dad respond to her um, just sounds like they, they, they're they real confrontational with each other. Obviously, the relationship didn't end off good, okay? Um, she could be one of those scorned baby mamas because, you know, we got a whole bunch of them out here. These scorned baby mamas that get upset that the relationship don't work out and the man go on about his business. Now, you know, this that story y'all can go a whole bunch of ways, but we just going to talk about what we saw in that video and based off what I saw in that video, that woman was stone cold out of her mind for cutting that baby's hair like that. And why the baby kept crying. Like, it didn't even, like, sis, it didn't even dawn to you that your baby is crying. You literally sitting here cutting her, all her hair out of her head. Oh, Lord, y'all. When I saw that video, I had to come to y'all and talk to y'all about that and see what your thoughts and opinions are. Because like I said, you guys, that woman lost her ever last in mind. I'm going to need y'all to let me know how y'all felt about that down in the description box because we can get the conversation popping off down there. And I will see y'all in the next video. Remember, sub what you love. Bye-bye.